In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will learn how to move and edit vector shapes with Puppet Warp tool. You will see how to get live cartoon-style shapes without even drawing anything. We will simply create few objects with Pen tool and Rectangle tool and then play with Puppet Warp tool. You will also see what problems and limits will you have if you'll try to use this tool without tips from this tutorial, and we'll see professional solutions for such cases to have full control on any vector object that you will edit with powerful Puppet Warp tool. You're watching TNT Tutorials, let's move on and create a new document. Select Print, A4, Horizontal Orientation, in Advanced Options select RGB and click on Create. You can download this image reference and colors by the link in the video description. Just create layers for them and place them like so. Then create new layer, rename it to Background, I for Eyedropper tool, pick this color, M for Rectangle tool, and draw a rectangle like this. Lock this layer, create new layer. You can rename it as you want to, I will rename it to Puppet Warp. I replace this layer like this, just so you could have better view. With Puppet Warp layer selected, I for eyedropper tool and pick this color, M for rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. V for selection tool, I will duplicate it like so. Right now we will work with this one. Find Puppet Warp tool, it's right here. If you can see it in this panel, click on this Edit Toolbar dots and find it here. Now let's pick Puppet Warp tool. It will create some points automatically. So go to Properties panel, click here Select All Pins and simply press Delete. Let's create 5 pins now. Like this. Now what options do you have? Pick any pin you want and just move it like this. You can also rotate it and change the design of your shape. If this mesh distracts you, just turn it off. Now let's make this shape look similar to this reference. So we will move this point here, this one like this, and now you want to move this point here. And you obviously have some problems. You just can move this shape as you want. So you try to do something like this, and you can see this result. So what actually is going on here? Click here to show mesh. You can see that Puppet Warp tool works correctly. And there's something wrong with this vector shape. This mesh applies just as you want to, and shape is not following this mesh. So what you want to do? I will press Ctrl Z. I return to step when we have applied these pins here. Let's select this one. Now go to Object, Path, Split into Grid, Preview. I will set this value to 4 and this value to 3. Your value can be different. It depends on shape and on situation. You will understand what we are doing after you will see next steps. So with these values I click OK. Now if you deselect this object, you can see that it's ungrouped. So select all these objects and press Ctrl G to group. Now let's apply Puppet Warp tool to this object. Pick Puppet Warp tool. You can see a lot of pins created for you. We don't need them. So select all pins and press delete. Now simply create 5 pins like this. You want to create pins right on these lines. So now let's take a look at difference. Let's try to move this shape, rotate it, move pins like this, V for selection tool, select this shape, even after you deselected shape and before this you applied warp tool to this object, you can select this object again, pick puppet warp tool one more time, and you can see that all pins are in the places where you place them. So let's try to change this one. You can see that we still have the same problems. Let's try to rotate these points. Let's turn off mesh. Now let's return to this object, Puppet Warp tool. And you can see that when we are rotating this point, everything moves correctly. So what Puppet Warp tool needs is more points then you will have better control on your shape. So just move points like this, 
Don't create too many pins. If you see some rough parts like this, you can add point and just make it more smooth. But I personally don't recommend you to do this, because you will be able to edit this shape with Direct Selection tool and Pen tool. So I will delete this point. This is up to you to decide. Let's rotate this one. Just play with your shape. You can easily do it. You can move shape without points like this. But sooner or later you will have some problems. Because you can move this point even like this. You're turning on mesh. And you can see that everything is completely broken. You won't have such problems with this method. Mesh is always following your shape. Now I will change proportions here just a bit. Even after this I can select this object again, pick Puppet Warp tool, and all points are in the same places. So let's delete this shape, we don't need this anymore. I will delete this shape also and create new one. Create shape with rectangle tool, object, path, split into grid, 4 in this window, and 3 columns here. Preview, click OK, right click, group. Now let's add some kind of print here. Let's just pick this color, P for pen tool, click here to swap fill and stroke, and let's draw 5 lines. You can draw them like this, don't build straight lines. V for selection tool to deselect line, P for pen tool, and create new line. Create lines like so. I will move this object here and make a copy. Now to change these lines in this object with Puppet Warp tool at one time, you need to select them all and group them. Ctrl G to group. Now let's pick Puppet Warp tool and let's add 5 pins. Just as we did in previous time. Let's try to rotate and move these points. And you can see that we have some problems with these lines. They are not following warp 2 for the same reason. They do not have enough points. So what you want to do is to simply pick each one of these lines, P for pen 2, and add few points. Like this. After you added points, select all objects, Ctrl G to group, Puppet Warp tool, delete this point, and create 5 pins. I will hide mesh. Now, as you can see, these lines are following our shape. This is exactly what we needed. So I will apply the same crewness as in reference like this. I remind you that you can add more pins to change shape, but I will not do this. Now V for selection tool. You can change proportion of your shape, like so. And after this we want to round this shape. So you can select this object, ungroup it, select this one, and to round this part we need to unite all these shapes. So if you will click Unite in Pathfinder. I will click it right now. You can see that we have some problems. We have these unpleasant moments right here and right here. So to avoid them, I will press Ctrl Z, Shift plus M for Shape Builder, and simply drag Shape Builder like this. You can see that we have no errors. If you will have some, you will be able to delete them with Direct Selection tool or with Pen tool. Now with this object selected, P for Pen tool, delete this point and delete this point. Now A for Direct Selection tool, pick these two points and drag these dots like so. If you need to play with design of your shape, you can do it just as usual. Manipulate handles and anchor points. If you want to round some corners, you can drag these dots like so. Let's just work with design of this shape. 
Now to edit lines. You can even delete some points and make them more smooth with Direct Selection tool. Now let's move this line closer to center in this point. Like this. Now pick this layer, Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V. We've just placed a copy to the top of all these layers. Here's this copy. Now select all layers, right click, Make Clipping Mask. If you would like to edit some objects within this Clipping Mask, just double click on it and you will be able to move anything and change proportions. To exit Clipping Mask, double click somewhere on the workspace. And if you want to edit some lines and you don't want to enter Clipping Mask, A for Direct Selection tool, pick line and move it as you want to. I will delete this part, I for Eyedropper tool, pick this color, Click here to sweat fill and stroke, and for pencil tool, and let's draw some flower, like this. Now click here to sweat fill and stroke again, right click, arrange, send to back. Let's make it smaller. Sometimes you can just simply use Puppet Warp tool. Just try if it works, pick Puppet Warp tool, properties, select all pins, delete them, add your own pins. In places that will work for you, you will need to experiment just a bit. And you can see that in some cases Puppet Warp tool works just fine. But if you will need to make more complicated shape, you will start to have some problems. This is one of cases when you might be happy with your result. Let's show mesh. You can see that something is wrong with this mesh, but in this situation we won't worry about that. Right after this. You can draw lines, like usual, like this, then pick this shape, A for Direct Selection tool, select these two points, drag these dots like so. Let's move these lines just as we did previous time. Select the shape, Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V, select all shapes, right click, make clipping mask. You can edit some lines. If you want to edit these points, like so, you can see that when you're moving these points, nothing happens. That's because you're moving not your object, but your clipping mask. So I'll press Ctrl Z. This shape is distracting us from working, so let's lock it. And now you can see that we can pick only this object. So A for Direct Selection tool, and select all points in this selection. Now you see that we are moving Clipping Mask and our object. I will open this layer group so you could see better. Here you can see how we are editing our shape. And this empty layer is our Clipping Mask. Right click, Arrange, Send to Back. Now I will create another branch with Dividing method. Let's draw some lines here. Let's change proportions like this. Now let's add some points to these lines. Select Rectangle, Object, Path, Split into Grid, Preview. If you have some spaces here, play with these values. So with these results I will click OK, Ctrl G to group, right click, arrange, send to back. Now select all these layers, Ctrl G to group. After this Puppet Warp tool, properties, select all pins, delete them, create pins like this. Let's move them. You can rotate some of them. As you can see, you can apply this method to any object you want, to characters, to objects, but to apply it, you need to have separate limbs. Let's imagine that this is arm of your character. V for selection tool, 
Let's move it here. Right click, arrange, send to back. Ungroup these layers. Select rectangle. Instead of clicking Unite in Pathfinder, because you will get this result, Shift plus M for Shape Builder. And unite these shapes like so. Select this shape, Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V, select all objects, right click, make clipping mask. Now with direct selection tool I can pick all these lines and move them here. Now I want to delete points from this object. After I applied clipping mask, I pick this object with direct selection tool, P for pen tool, and I can delete this point because we have clipping mask on top of our shape. So let's select clipping mask here, delete points from clipping mask first, then select our shape, and then you can delete points from this shape. Let's select these two points and round them. You can see this result. That's because we didn't round clipping mask here. Just round it like this also. If you don't want to have such problems, just apply all this roundness to this shape and only after this apply clipping mask. Right click, arrange, send to back. Now you might ask that why do we use puppet warp tool to change shape like this if you have simple warp tool. Let me show you how warp tool works. I will just create rectangle as we did. Shift plus R for warp tool and let's just try to move this shape. As you can see, first of all, there's nothing wrong with this tool, it works very well, but what it does, it creates unnecessary points. So of course you can change proportions with this tool, but as you can see you have unnecessary points all around your shape. You can press enter, try to simplify your tool and play with these values. After this you will get less points, but still you don't have enough control on your shape. So I think that it's much more professional to use Warp tool to control mesh of your shape. Now let's pick this color, M for rectangle tool, draw a rectangle like this, duplicate this layer, change proportions, like so, A for direct selection tool, pick this point, hold shift and press move to right on your keyboard. I will press it two times, now select this point, hold shift, and I will move this point to the left two times, like so. Let's duplicate this layer, I for eyedropper tool, and pick this color. Let's bring this layer up, and now let's bring this layer to the top. Select this layer, this one, Shift plus M, hold Alt, and delete unnecessary parts. You could also apply clipping mask. I'll press Ctrl Z, just select this object, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, Move this copy to top of this red layer, select this copy, this layer, right click, make clipping mask. This method is better, because now you can enter clipping mask mode and move this shape just as you want to. You don't need to cut it. You can pick it with direct selection tool without entering clipping mask mode and change proportions like this. So keep in mind that sometimes you can simply use Puppet Warp tool without any other manipulations. Just add pins, move and rotate them. And if you'll see that you need better control on your shape, just use tips that you've learned today. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below. Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important, by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you'll click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.